is capitalism the only way that we can exist as humanity? Is capitalism really the best system for us? I have here a site, capitalism.org, which is filled with reasons for why capitalism is apparently the best system and why pure capitalism as the real free market of competition between humans is the only real system that would work where poverty will apparently be reduced based on the principles of Ayn Rand and there's a quote here of Ayn Rand on their site the moral justification of capitalism does not lie in the altruist claim that it represents the best way to achieve the common good it's true that capitalism does if that catchphrase has any meaning but this is merely a conse a secondary consequence the moral justification of capitalism lies in the fact that it is the only system consonant with man's rational nature that it protects man's survival qua man and that its ruling principle is justice so Ayn Rand says that just um, that capitalism works because it supports the res apparent rational nature of man meaning the survival the fight for survival the fact that human beings are a system that fight for their survival and thus in capitalism as a system of competition is the only rational system that works according to man's nature now this site has been created to apparently prove how true capitalism without any government interference would be best for humanity and would support human nature and thus work the best for everyone and that the current um, extensive amount of poverty that exists in especially you know specifically America is because there has been government interference is what they say under their question what of the poor under capitalism They say, even today in semi-free America, many such immigrants come here starting with nothing and create fortunes, though this is a rare occurrence due to the vast weight of the volumes of incoherence and irrational regulations that punish those who have an urgent need to accumula accumulate capital. The poor don't need government handouts, they need government off their backs and most importantly off the backs of those who can really help them, the rich. Which is actually an interesting thing because... They somehow believe that the government is this altruistic organ that just tries to help people, that tries to in, a, in some way help the poor, like a socialistic idea that we're all just going to care about each other and we're going to help each other. When, I mean, if we ask ourselves the question, how is government created in the first place? Has government, as it currently exists, not, is, the, is it not the produce and the result of human nature? because we've always existed this way as this survival, fight for survival, thus as human nature, so wouldn't our government be a reflection of who we are? Thus basically a desire for wealth, because every human being desires to be rich and famous and successful and wealthy and to stand at the top. And which means that government would be in fact a tool of the rich and wealthy to be able to best protect their own wealth and that this is simply the result of what capitalism actually does if you allow this human nature to roam free um, which is basically create a system of abuse where some beings become really rich and they will do anything in their power to protect their wealth to make sure that no one else becomes wealthy like them by, for instance, creating this governmental system under the premise of caring about each other where apparently the poor are being helped and they have this education and they have apparently free stuff and healthcare and stuff like that when if you really have a look at those aspects then you might see that they are in no way sufficient and that they in no way really support the human in fact what it really does is basically appease the human and make the poor think that they're being taken care of by their government so they won't question it so that they will just you know have the bare minimum to survive but never enough to really 
expand and develop themselves to actually have an opportunity to become wealthy or to be able to actually live a successful life. And so what we have right now is exactly what is exactly the result of that human nature that Ayn Rand speaks about is actually capitalism where the government interference is being used by the rich and wealthy to basically suppress all others to make sure that they maintain their wealth and so this is not about changing our system from government interference to apparent true capitalism as a free market system because we will simply create exactly the same thing which is just a few elite people at the top with all their wealth making sure that no one else can ever reach them because what is wealth it is luxury products it is having all these consumerism items and to have all that we need slaves we need slave workers in our factories manufacturing all those luxury products so that the rich and wealthy can have it all i mean without the slaves there will be no rich people and so obviously it is a logical conclusion or a rational um deduction to realize that in fact the poor would never get any support in any system as it exists now because the rich need the poor to be able to maintain their wealth and according to human nature which desires power and which desires more than simply survival we will always end up with a system of absolute abuse and where the majority is in poverty and there is only a, a small amount of people who have everything and the system that we exist in today as our government our politics, our economics, everything that we exist in today is a result of that, is a result of these few people just simply defending their own wealth and trying to protect their wealth through creating these systems to make everyone else believe that the world is in some way right and that capitalism is in some way a just system that where everyone has equal opportunities. When we never have a, take a moment to actually look within ourselves and see how our own mind works, how how we would, for instance, if we were the elite, we would also simply want to protect our wealth. We would want to make sure that our children inherit our wealth and that no one gets to touch our wealth and that we would only just become more and more and more wealthy and successful. So we would have to find ways to make sure that all other people in the world do not ever really become successful because that would mean that we would lose our wealth and so basically these whole arguments for capitalism on this site they just contradict it comes it contradicts itself this idea that apparently real capitalism will give the poor an opportunity to become equally rich and successful contradicts the statement of Ayn Rand about human nature, about man's rational nature of basically the struggle for survival and fight for survival because man's nature is in fact not just the fight for survival but the fight for power and superiority and domination. And so the poor will never have an opportunity or, or, or a chance to stand up and to create wealth under a system that supports human nature because there will always be the winners and once those winners are in place they will make sure that they do everything they can to make sure that they remain the winner. I mean that's what happens, that's obviously what anyone would do in such a winner situation. You wouldn't just give it up, you wouldn't go like okay I've been a winner now so I'm just gonna let someone else have that chance to be number one. No, you will make sure that you will do whatever it takes to to remain the winner by creating apparent by creating for instance these systems like government and politics and education and healthcare and stuff like that to actually 
rig the game to make sure that everyone else does not have a chance to become equally wealthy as you. And so this is why the solution, the only real solution that would work is equal money capitalism where we would just, where we would actually create a system of competition yet with support, with equal support wherein we actually work together because we realize that no one can be wealthy without anybody else. I mean the rich and wealthy can only be wealthy if it is for the poor and for other people spending their money and working in the factories. So we need each other to become wealthy, so why not become wealthy together and e actually do give everyone an equal opportunity to become wealthy and to enjoy life. So go and have a look at The Economist Journey to Life where equal money capitalism is being explored and go have a look at the forum, the equal money website, support the goals and investigate for yourself how equal money capitalism really at this point is the only solution that would really support us as human beings and realize that any system that supports apparent human nature as this desire for power only leads to destruction and abuse which we have right now and it will only get worse and so thanks